Uh, just something so simple like that drone can get them all sparked up, and I don't know why. They're all jazzed up. Snow, fresh hay. All right, guys, we are back the next morning. Oklahoma's looking a little bit different today, but uh, this is, uh, and, and snow can be a mess and can be a cluster and a lot harder on farmers, but there's just uh, something, I, I love seeing these bison out here at the snow and it just, uh, it's just one of those things that I, uh, it just looks cool. And we're not used to this good of snow. Uh, it was the good, big, fluffy snow. And it was super pretty. I got some great footage for you. But I, uh, I love seeing them like this. And they just stick out so well. And, uh, you know, these animals survived the last ice age. And uh, I kind of think, uh, think of it times like this. And, uh, you know, we probably got, I don't know, three inches of snow maybe. It's barely cold enough to stick. But it's, uh, it's beautiful out here. And just rolling out a bell of hay for them. And I'll put it up here next to the road so, uh, so people can see them is why I put it over here. Uh, but uh, they're all making their way over here to get some uh, fresh bell hay. I'm going to roll it out before they destroy it right here. <laughs> been putting out hay this whole time oh getting a little spunky <laughs> they're all jazzed up snow fresh hay just go ahead and roll in it then then eat it <laughs> bunch of kids uh anyways i've been rolling out hay and uh they're happy jackie has been sitting right over here patiently watching and waited on me to head back to the barn.
these guys always trying to get out always You know it's funny us uh us us southerners we're just not used to that uh you know this cold of weather the past two or three winters we've had it's we've hit some really cold temperatures that we're not used to here recently in the past a uh, couple of days it's uh, just right there at the 20s and so it's really not that bad you know and uh i've got some canadian friends yes i've got some canadian friends i don't know if that's a good or bad thing <laughs> but i've got some canadian friends uh, you know, through bison uh, association and stuff. And uh, it is, uh, it's funny because I, I joke with them about uh, the weather and stuff like that. And, you know, like a, a friend sent me a message this morning. He sent me a seven day forecast and uh, it looked miserable. And it was basically negative 20s every day. Not, not like 20 degrees here, negative 20 every day up in, uh, and he's in the Saskatoon area of Saskatchewan, Canada. Woo! That just really makes you appreciate the weather in Oklahoma, right? Minus the tornadoes in the spring, it's really not that bad. Um, so uh, when we, uh, us Southerners, are thinking about how cold it is and, and stuff like that, 
you know, I, I think of my buddies up in uh, the Saskatoon area in Canada and think, yeah, I think I'll stay here in the in the south uh, of uh, America. So you want your stick? Stick. Ouch. Come on. Get Ouch, don't it, my man. Ouch. Oh, girl. So, I'm not complaining about the cold uh, weather. And uh, the good thing is about what's going on is um, we're getting moisture. That's that's the main thing. And uh, oh, guys, I cannot wait to tell you and show you probably on the next video. But it has to do with them. I want you to see how far they're coming out here. The other day, something happened. and I can't wait to share it with you. Stay tuned for the next video. Kind of an interesting thing happened that's been happening here at the Ponderosa. Hey, Maya. Hey, girl. Hey, come on. Hey, Maya. What are you doing? Um, so can't wait to show you that uh, it has to do with Jackie me and uh, yeah we'll just I'll just show it to you later in relation to these bison uh, you know you just don't have to worry about them in, in the winter you know obviously make sure they're fed and whatnot and and you bust water for them every now and then but you really don't have to worry about these uh, animals and I know there's a lot of um, cattle guys out there that are having calves during these type of conditions and uh that's rough, you know, and uh, that can be hard on a on a uh, farmer or rancher that has cattle. So, um, you know, we just appreciate how tough these animals are. And uh, you really just kind of you can let them go and do their own thing in, in times like this. And you don't have to worry about them as much as you probably do cattle, um, sheep and goats and those animals that may be uh, having having their offspring this time of the year. Chickens are making all kinds of noise. Hope you guys have enjoyed uh, seeing the bison in the snow. You can uh, see we got some left, but uh, we have another wave of all this coming in. So we are getting prepared for that. Busting ice every day and all that. So hope you guys have enjoyed today's video. Thank you guys for watching. Y'all keep ranching.